Is it a bird or is it a plane? Well, they certainly hope it's the former and possibly a rare one if they're lucky. These are some of the country's keen bird watchers en route to Namibia. They're hoping the five-day-long cruise will add some more birds to their already long spotting lists. Bird watching is one of the world's fastest growing pastimes. In South Africa, we have 30, 40,000 plus bird watchers. It's a massive hobby, an important hobby. We've got 1,120 bird watchers on this cruise ship. It's a magnificent turnout of people. Um, we think it's a Guinness, Guinness World Record. We've submitted an application to Guinness World Records because it's the biggest gathering of bird watchers in Africa ever, and also the largest number of bird watchers ever on a ship. There are six viewing platforms on board, each with a specialist bird guide on hand. So what are they hoping to see? Some of the, uh, these seabirds are like mega. I mean, they're huge things. People have no idea what's uh, they're Like this bird here, for instance, called a wandering albatross. Uh, there's a reasonable chance we actually might see one of them. Uh, and although the, at sea, you can't judge their size because there's actually nothing close by them. But when they actually fly past the ship, you get an idea of the size because wingtip to wingtip, is twice my height. The, the more obvious birds which we're actually likely to see is this a thing called a shy albatross. We've seen 359 species and we're hoping to make it 400 by the end of this trip. I think one of the main things is that you never see the same thing all the time. You might see the same bird you've seen before but it's doing something different, it's acting in a different way. So with five days and over a hundred different bird species, organizers say it can get very competitive with so many birders all looking for the same thing. Tanya Neft, Cape Town.